And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part four of four. We're down at the home stretch here, game 16 through 20 on the day with Gangplank's Fate. This is our rank up deck. We've been winning at a 60% clip. Can't complain about that. We are three wins still away from Masters rank. So to get there for these last five games, we're going to have to go four and one or better. Hopefully we can get there. Um, if not, you know, it's not the end of the world. You know, there's still uh, like about four more days to qualify for the seasonal tournament. Because we not only have to get to Masters rank, but then also get in that top 700. So let's keep it going. We're doing great so far. Deck still feels awesome. Here we go. 40 LP. That's where we're at. Diamond 1, 40 LP. We need uh, each win. You get 20 LP. Each loss, you subtract 20 LP. We need to get to 100 so we're three wins away from Master's Rank. And looks like we got a Trundle, Aurelian, Soul deck, which, to be honest, sounds pretty scary. This should be uh, a deck with a lot of Avalanches. Avalanches, Blighted Ravines, Ice Shards, all that kind of stuff. That sounds pretty scary. And then Targon, they're going to have a good amount of Nexus healing. Um, yeah, I'm not... Not confident in this one. Good attack on round two. Yes, I forgot to do prediction. Here you go. Gonna be just a one minute prediction since we already started. So they can have Trundle this round, or if they're playing Targon's Peak, which is likely, they can have Targon's Peak this round. I'm very glad we drew the Dreadway, so with Targon's Peak, we'd have the Dreadway. Okay. No. Is it worth playing Sprayfin? Sprayfin does replace itself, but I'm just walking farther into an Avalanche if I do. Maybe not. Then again, if they don't have an avalanche. Okay, yeah, see a bladder ravine. That looks like an avalanche to me. Neither the flames nor the depths can claim me, Captain. Okay, so we get an attack for nine. Break their legs. I think that's the best play. Yeah, there's Ice Shard. I was worried about that. But I was also worried about, like, Ice Shard plus... Like, they are going to have Ice Shard, then they could just have the Ice Shard and an Avalanche and take down Gangplank with that. Okay, at least we got all the flocks out of you, which they did. It's a good thing I didn't just play the Sprayfin straight up. All the flocks out of our deck, you know, like... Ravenous Flock, not a great card. Neither is Monster Harpoon, whenever they're just using a bunch of spells and avalanches and stuff. <laughs> so, we got all those... Those are the two worst cards in our deck. We got them all out of our deck. That's the good news. We can't draw anymore. Now, this is the round that's trouble. This is where they go feel the rush. Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't mind feel like I I was hoping they would feel the rush because feel you know and then I make it rain and then flonk. That was worse for me for sure. They would have still been able to keep their really and soul alive though. And... Living legends only get four. They passed to me. I rarely forget and never forgive. What are these four cards? These are words. I 
This will level up Gangplank. And obviously get the two damage in to help out Harpoon. Your king has returned. I guess I could just double flock instead of Harpoon. Never mind, it's got well, okay, so it could be either way. I'm gonna double flock because that allows me to play Ballista. And I'd rather I'd rather be able to play Ballista right now than play uh, Demolitionist. So that we can open attack with the Ballista. And save Demolitionist for after combat. Feel pretty good about winning this. We'll see if they have like Frostbite spells. Hopefully not. Alright. Let's move that up to 10 and 6. Let's get up to 60 LP. Two wins away. Stop coming for those who wronged me. Draven Ezreal is always a tough deck to face. We are 2 0 against it today, which you may be thinking, okay, well, that means that we're pretty good against it, but that also kind of means that they are due to defeat us. You know, you can't expect to go, like, you know, 100 and I was like, they, the more you win against it, the more likely they will get one. I don't know if that's actually true, but that's what I'm saying. So we got round one Butcher, round three Ballista, round four Fate. I think I'm just keeping everything here. I think I like what we got going on. Cool. Now we have two different options for round three. They have Draven on three. We had to go Sentry Flock. Still sentry flock uh, as real. Even though like they can't do anything with the mystic shot that they create right now. I'll still go ahead and do that. No, currently not qualified right now. You got to be in the top 700. Well, at least we get a good amount of overwhelm damage in. But that three third power on that boom boom boom, pretty nice to trade up with the ballista. I do have red card that maybe it, like I just don't attack there and then wait till next round red card flunk. Yeah. Prices me into like red carding right then when I maybe don't want to. Victory at any cost. I don't know. I wouldn't mind playing either Sprayfin or Gangplank before attackers. I don't think. have all removal spells Deal me in. something for all of you. so I get rid of their way to create cards and you know have like the discard stuff for the created cards I still have harpoon Or, you know, something that we need to harpoon. Deal. 
You're bluffing. So gangplank's at uh, three out of five. Okay, so it's not the 8-8. I was thinking maybe they play the 8-8. Tri-beams are gonna be a problem. I definitely need to try to kill this Mountain Sojourners. This Mountain Sojourners plus, um, you know, like flame chompers and stuff, and just kind of everything. Alright, so with that tri-beam, they're looking good. We want our four plus mana cards. At least that replaces itself. But Sprayfin, Twist of Fate, Gangplank, Dreadway. Those are our best cards. Cool. That worked out great for them. I wish I would have just passed. Static shock draw on this boom boom boom, which enabled the some treasure. Once I stamp papers, now faces. Man. That really just unlocked everything. I should have just passed. Worst card in the deck to draw. Did have like the best card to draw the previous round, but looks like we're going back down to 40 LP in just a little bit. Probably a Scorched Earth. They're able to discard that Ignition. Okay, a flock. Okay, well not too, too bad. Got rid of some pretty valuable cards there. They also just have a chance, you know, have Ezreal, and then I completely regret doing that or not. I guess I pass. Well, we can take that pass. So they want to stop King Plank with a thermogenic beam. I'm trying to tap him out. If it's a uh, stun spider, make it rain, blow up the two blockers. Yeah, the last two rounds have been pretty good for us with them just not kind of doing anything. Definitely been good for us. Like basically since the Dreadway. It was looking bad, but they haven't 
they really haven't done anything. It was Thermo. Yeah, so that's... That's gonna do it. No, 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 no. War Mesa, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. You never know. It's only discard jury rig, like Horo Cannon, discard jury rig, get a blocker. If I just open attack. I don't know. <laughs> oh no! Sir Hockett Tom Kench. Oh man, they're so good at blocking. I may need to keep a Dreadway, honestly. Nah, I'll send it back. Alright, Sentry. I'll send you back too, because we need some earlier stuff. So to try to get to Masters, we have to beat Soraka Tom Kench. One of the best decks in the format at blocking. Very glad we didn't keep the Dreadway, right? Like, we could have kept that one Dreadway, then drawn the other, and then that would have been not so good. Star Spring like that. Alright, well, we'll take that trade. Oh, man, I don't have anything to remove Star Spring. No Scorched Earth in our deck. To heal and protect. Obviously not blocking. I guess that wasn't so obvious, because then I would have had a decent attack. Um. Keep up, keep up. Gets an elusive. I didn't want to hit him with the three two and enable with them having all four me, and I didn't want to enable like an astral protection. The problem with Gangplank is then it allows the, the Soraka to challenge the Powder Keg. Could go Twisted Fate Gold Card, try to just kill the Croaker. Maybe they don't have another attacker. They haven't really been putting any bodies out here, but they did just draw another card. Alright, I'm going to go Gold Card, I guess. No, no, that's the thing. If Soraka challenges the Barrel, then Soraka gets healed like immediately. And... You know, I would not be able to flock Soraka. All that glitters. All right, so we killed that thing. They have to let that happen. I can try flock, but if they have guiding touch, that's really bad for me. And I just, I just don't think I do. I think I just let them get the two there and open attack. Sentry stun? Gangplank attack? Gangplank attack. Man, this is not great. This a sharp tongue you've got there, River Snake. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? Go no further. Man, I gotta really hope they don't have the card Astral Protection. Good against Guiding Touch. Okay. Oh, but then it levels up. Never mind, not so good against Guiding Touch. I'm just giving them a lot more damage to heal. Alright, well they're at 8. Master the power of the stars. Master the Appetizers of plenty. 
Bad draw. Stars fall. Take heart. I feel better when you feel better. Death doesn't scare me. I'm I'm I want to oh wow that actually works. Okay, I was gonna say I want the game plank to block the top edge, but I wasn't sure with like the three one, like whether or not to block there or not, like whether or not that would be worth blocking. I was not expecting that to work. It doesn't usually ever work. Yeah, I was not really expecting that to work. For the glory of Just uh, just pretend I'm naughty, right? I have next next round is my last round to kill them. Live with purpose. Let his knee out. I'm I'm dead if I don't kill them this round. So that's why, like, even though I didn't stun anything, it doesn't matter. That was kind of the game plan. Okay. Stars, hear me. Take heart. We look after our own. So right now it's still lethal. Right, because they have four blockers. I have five attackers. Oh, I guess it's not technically lethal. It is once my, my Mega Rain can kill them, but it's not on board lethal. Never mind. This is only, it's only four damage. Oh, never mind. Because that's gonna yeah that that overwhelms one. Did we get there? I think we got there. This this kills us at round end. I was very surprised at blocking and killing that Tom Cannon. Oh no! That puts him alive at one. Exact one. I can't make it rain right now because if I make it rain right now. Well, one, I need that to be two damage. Oh, they, they know it's lethal anyway because of this parlay. We, we did it! Master's rank! We needed 18 games to get there, 12 and 6. Alright! Got there! Boom! That was today, Road to Masters. We got Twisted Fate Swain. So they are the larger Twisted Fate deck. They're going bigger. Sending you back, sending you back. We'll start with just Butcher and Fate. Alright, and I will go ahead and open attack. Get a nice 3 3 in here. That's a good draw. So if they, if they make a rain or do something, we have our own make a rain or something. Get a couple of 3 health units. That's important. They got a bunch of twos over there. Two health units, that is. I'm always up for a round or two. Please don't cast make a rain, just let this happen. Who says I cool. Now those have one health, which is very good for make a rain. 
Never lost a fair game. Play one. Cool. So they'll block the three two, take four. Could have a flock. All right, down to 11. If they don't break, they'll burn. Did a good job leveling up Gangplank this game. No problem. Follow me. I think it was just going to be a little 2 1 anyway. Like a fish in water. <laughs> so I only have mana for one flock right now. Heal me in. Twisted Fate's always good. Oh man, that was not a good maker. I'm a people person. As far as good maker reigns go, that did not count. Strike at their foundations. Chance I should be killing that twist of fate, but if I do, they could play another one if they got the third one in hand. Alright, so no damage on the gangplank at least. Worst card in the deck to draw. I, th I, th I think we're done. I think they got us. Your king has returned. Alright, cool. I can kind of kill that thing. Ooh, maybe we're not done. That was pretty good for us. They only had a Krusty Codger last round, and then we drew this thing. Those are two good turns. Like, those are two good outcomes for me, for sure. I can't believe they only had just a Krusty Codger to play. We got Big Bolt Gangplank. I love... I don't... That's, you know, again, a visual bug. But I love the Big Bolt. I've seen it. Like, I think this is only the second time I've seen it, but it's pretty cool. It's a Big Bolt Gangplank. Smiling, you've concerns, do ya? Do ya? Let me do that, do that, do this. Down to nine. Keeping, I want to keep this as another parlay in case. Something happens to this, or like just another gangplank in, in case something happens to this gangplank. Like if they flock this gangplank or Scorched Earth it or whatever. I obviously, because of Scorched Earth and flock, I don't want to get any damage on the Dreadway. But I also just don't want to take like a ton of Nexus damage. So we'll do 10 damage. <laughs> Flux. Yeah, so there's Scorched Earth. Powered. 
How do they stop just like a dreadway an open dreadway attack that's fearsome? Okay, I think I figured it out. I think I figured out how they, they stopped that. Well, we don't need to do that then. Let's go and play this Gangplank. Okay, even with drawing the wor the last two cards of the worst cards we could draw, we did have that Dreadway. They did not have a Swain or a Leviathan. Which is that, that's what I was expecting at the end. They ended up just having all their one drops at the end. And we got Discard Burn to finish it out. For our last game. No attack token round one. Alright, I'll send both of y'all back. Really want that flock to go along with the sentry. I love, you know, want, really want sentry flock on. Um, on Draven and stuff. Okay, ready. So I would have liked having the 3-3 Butcher, depending on what they did, but since they didn't do anything, I, I want the 2-2 Croaker to block this rear guard. Yeah, I really wish I had a flock. Or, sorry, yeah. Yeah, 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 flock. I wish we had that, but... We do not. Could have Whirling Death. Okay, ready. Got an axe with your name on it. All right, no Whirling Death. We'll just get a nice little trade there. My beautiful face. There's plenty of killing left. <laughs> this is setting up nicely for a red card. I stand for Ugh. Do I need a gold card, that thing? No, we got red card. Stop. I'm always up for a round or two. Some we'll take some overwhelm damage, though. We're going to take some overwhelm damage. Interesting. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, we've never even come close to leveling up Twisted Fate. <laughs> Poor Twisted Fate. That 9 could be 6 and we, you know, we could be 5. Still nowhere close. I think maybe in all these games today, I think we've gotten to like 3 out of 9 is like the most that we've gotten to. Like, I don't think we've gotten to 4. Good move. It's a good move. You're at three out of five. So I could go Ballista, Stun a Blocker, or Gangplank plus Make It Rain. Both pretty good options. Kind of assuming they're going to, like, if they play Jinx, I think I want Ballista, Stun Blocker. It's going to be a Jinx. I guess we're doing a weird this. Just make just make it so that thing can't block. This thing's got three health now. Alright. As long as no more Jinx, we're good. Oh, that's great. That kills a Jinx. on this thing so it doesn't just do three damage to me. And then we have this for Jinx. Yes, we good. Open attack. It's about to be a 14 and 6 day and a 5-0 video to finish it out. Went 3-2, 3-2, 3-2, and now 5-0. Fourteen and six on the day. 
Okay, so we're at 888. <laughs> That's pretty lucky. All right, so started the day at Diamond 3. Dar Diamond 2, sorry, Diamond 2. Um, Diamond 2 ADLP and finished the day after a 14 and 6 with 888 into Master. So there we go, after 20 games. So that was today, a little different from normal. You know, our normal streams, like we want to play four different decks a day and really have a bunch of variety and everything so we can have decks for every single person. Everybody can find whatever kind of deck that they want to play. Today was a little different. Today we just stayed in uh, in just one deck, in one lane, and he focused on ranking up and doing the best we could with that. And ended up going 14 and six, a nice 5-0 record to finish it out. It's a strong deck. This is the deck that I've been performing the best with. Definitely will be one of my three decks if we qualify for that seasonal tournament. We're not there yet. You know, we're at 888, but we got um, four more days before the cutoff ends. So we got a little bit more time. Uh, of course, the tournament will be this weekend. So we'll, we'll do some more tomorrow. Try to get in that top 700 range. Um, and if we get there, then we can, you know, kind of stay there and do some other cool donation decks and all that kind of stuff. I still kind of have to figure out exactly what my other two decks are going to be. I'm pretty set on Vladimir Braum. So like this plus Vladimir Braum. And is the other one going to be Jarvan Shen? Or is there anything better than Jarvan Shen? That's what I kind of have to figure out is what, what's that third deck going to be. All right. Anyway, those y'all watching later on YouTube, as always, hit that like button and leave those comments. I know it's been a lot of videos with the same deck. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying them, though. And, and if this is a deck that you're interested in playing, hopefully it really showed off the power of the deck and uh you know maybe you y'all learn some stuff from having so many games in a row with the same deck and really the last two days you know like we've played 32 games <laughs> with this deck the last like three days that's a lot so hopefully y'all uh left <clears throat> have really learned a lot and enjoyed the video enjoyed the deck all right but that's going to be it here for gangplank's fate so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video